Oh, uh, hello, YouTube. So, I thought it was just me. I thought maybe that I went to the restroom at the wrong time and I had missed something uh, during this debate yet last night um, of Kane and Pence, vice presidential uh, debate. But I was looking for specifically for something that did not occur in that debate. And I don't understand why it didn't. It seems like a missed opportunity for the Democrats. And uh, so I thought maybe it was me. Maybe I missed something. I, I might have got, but took a break or something. There was no commercials in it. But it looks like I wasn't. So what I want to do is I want to play this little clip from MSNBC and hear Rachel's take on what, on what happened last night. Hold on. Especially the way that Tim Kaine approaches this, that we didn't get more about how Governor Mike Pence has behaved on exactly. feminism. This issues mm -hmm. on reproductive rights issues. We got LGBT there a little bit but specifically on LGBT issues. I mean, I don't think that because I'm gay, I was looking to hear more of it than most people were. But I mean, Mike Pence is really famous for having pushed the most aggressive pro LGBT discrimination bill in the country, having to really embarrassingly walk it back. When he was in Congress, he said that HIV and AIDS funding should not be dispersed unless it was also spent, federal dollars spent, to try to cure people from being gay. I mean, he's got a really, really, really radical mm -hmm. position and history and, and current positions on, on gay issues. It didn't come up at all. We did what's get a little theory? bit I mean, why do you think, why, I mean, Kane hit everything else. Why do you, what's your, why? I think, I think that the debate was essentially curated. It was essentially led as if it was refrigerator poetry. Honestly, I think the topics were alphabetical. You can't have somebody who's been a religious right warrior his entire public life and get to one question on what was described as social issues in the last three minutes of the debate and can think exactly. that you're actually having these guys engage on what they've thought that's, about. That's the essence of my Gene Robinson. That's what his career and has been about. they both have interesting histories. No, they history. do. And, and that's, as I said earlier, that was like the most interesting part of the debate for me, because I thought we got closer to the real Mike Pence, the real Tim Kaine. And we, you know, we heard, but, but we didn't hear about the LGBT issues that he has been yeah. uh, so sort of an, an outlier on, uh, to, to, to put it uh, mildly. I wondered if, I thought Kaine would work, work it in somehow. Okay, I'll stop it there. Listen, I apologize for this jittery kind of uh, audio I have. I did go to my uh, this tech company that I pay, fix my computer. They worked on it for hours, examining everything. So I don't know what's, what's going on with my computer, but uh, I guess that clip just won't pay, play right. It seems like everything else is okay. So anyway, so yeah, the issue is maybe, uh, maybe a year ago, Mike Pence had this passed this law, or attempted to well, he had passed the law, stating basically that. Uh, Heterosexual people could refuse LGBT people, gay people, services, and I believe it went even further than weddings, based on the fact that, that, that they didn't believe they should be gay. So he had passed this law, made it illegal to discriminate against LGBT people. So you would think, now, if you did something like that, he had this huge controversy where many companies, and I was so proud of, of America at that point because he stepped up, and they insisted that he change the law because it was unfair. And uh, many companies uh, pulled out of Indiana or threatened to pull out of Indiana. Angie's list, I can remember. But many, even uh, ball teams threatened to pull out of Indiana, doing business with Indiana. And he had to go back and change that law because it was basically, it, it was discrimination. It was legalizing discrimination. Anyway, you would think that after something like that, uh, he would be, uh, he would be, have shot himself in the foot and he would not be viable for any political office for, for at least a few years. But instead of that, they made him the, <laughs> they made him the candidate for vice president of the United States. That shows you how far apart we are in, in many ways. Uh, so I was waiting for them, for the Democrats, for the Democrat uh, candidate to attack him on that subject, I, I thought it was fair game because he, he, I mean, he made national news for that. And then it wasn't less than a year later that he was running for uh, with, with the president, running for with Trump for the presidency. Very strange thing. So it was very disappointing to me. I think it was a missed opportunity to show who this man 
really is. Uh, in, in addition to the, that stupid law, uh, he voted to have, he wanted to have, in order to have HIV services in the U.S., uh, he wanted to attach that to a bill that would also fund these, uh, re, uh, I don't know, this therapy thing where people, they talk people out of being gay, turn them straight by talking to them. Therapy things. I think the president made those things illegal even. But, because uh, they're harmful. They're harmful to young people. Stop, boy. But, uh, anyway, they didn't cover that. I don't know what, what the agreement was there. Maybe they, they had planned, planned it to be the last question or something. But it didn't come up. I was very dis extremely disappointing with that. They're calling Pence the winner. I'm just listen. Let me apologize on behalf of Indiana, my, the state where I was born and raised, for producing Mike Pence. I think that that that's a dying breed of person. Uh, I can respect the last question. They, they uh, and and to to a degree, I, I I think that maybe social issues shouldn't be a big part of politics. There should be separation between uh, church and state, but at the very end, they did tackle one social issue, you know, one one of the oldest ones in this country about abortion. So I thought both the candidates were being sincere about their beliefs, but but uh, came made a very good point, right? Which I think is the primary point, which is the main point about uh, about abortion. And what he said was that he basically agreed with Pence. They were both anti-abortion. They are both pro-life. But he didn't see that his beliefs or his religious beliefs, he should then, that he entitled to have those beliefs and to follow the doctrines of his church for him personally. But that he couldn't take those beliefs then and take them into the United States government and then govern by his religious beliefs, which Pence seems to think that you should, that uh, he should... Uh, that whatever he, he believes based on his religion should be what everyone believes, uh, period. There's only one truth and it is his. So Cain said correctly, no matter what I believe, as a government official, it should not influence law or the beliefs of other people. Separation of church and state is basic. So I wish they would have discussed that more. And that way I was disappointed. I thought it was a little more lively than the, uh, the presidential debate, actually. So it wasn't a bad debate, but uh, of course I want uh, the Republicans to lose. But in, but in particular, this guy, this guy Pence, I mean, he's so so conservative with these hairs that have been individually combed, and then he, they got these ties on that symbolically, they're about like they're going to pop their heads off. It, like the, the, the refusal to change anything is, 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 is like a noose around their neck. And so... Uh, is, I, I, I just find them, them repulsive as a party. But anyway, I want to come in here and give my opinion because at first I thought it was, it, was, it was me or some reason that they would bring that up. Or, But but uh, Rachel called it outright. It was something that was missing from that debate. Okay, so that's it. I'm not, I don't do a lot of uh, political commentary. Frankly, I think it's over my head. It changes constantly and so much of it is bullshit that I, will, I, I just don't want to sort, sort through that. Uh, I don't want to dedicate that much time to it. But I'll be uh, voting Democrat, and I hope you will too. I'll talk to you guys later when my shows come on. Empire and Queen Sugar. I intend to do them both. All right, that's it.